Hello everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and that you're doing well. For this video we'll be going through a unboxing of Trike, also known as Triceradogos from Zoids Build Them to Battle and this was released by Hasbro and a bit of Jakara Tommy back in 2021. So this will mark the end of this Zoids Build Them to Battle series uh, with Trike. It's been a very interesting series, a bit of a short-lived series, a very long series in the sense that it's taken some time um, to record these videos and everything, and to think I still have to go through an actual build phase, but it's been very fun and very enjoyable. And uh, having an opportunity to do these unboxings has um, actually really highlighted how interesting some of these kits are. So as I said, this will be the last one of the series. Um, so we have Trike here at 65 pieces in total. Which is pretty cool. We have a nice graphic of Trike on the front here. So Trike is a Triceratops type of Zoid. Uh, inside the little window here we can see bits and pieces, so half half Trike's head, bit of the armour, looks like a horn in fact, and one of the little connection pieces. And like the other uh, two Zoids, so Liger and Alpha Shadow, this two will also need a battery. So looking at the rest of the box, so at the bottom we know it's pretty bland. Um, that obviously says Zoids if it wasn't upside down. I'm on a roll with lots of upside downness. Okay, we'll make an effort for this one. Uh, so there we have Trike, and Trike's pilot will be Bastion. And there's a bit of a highlight of the pilot right there. Most interesting looking fellow indeed. So that's the front of the box. Look at the back of the box. So 65 pieces, trike, and then trike battling ruin. Interesting yellow. Be interesting to see if that yellow really is that vibrant yellow or if it's a bit more of a muted yellow. Because um, obviously the Artwork looks more of a golden type yellow. Although, technically, looking at that window, it could be a bit of a brighter yellow, but we'll see in a second. So, cracking this open because I've already sliced the tape. And I see I'm going to have the same conundrum as I had with LIGO, which makes me wonder if those things are even taped there. The answer is yes, things were taped there. Yeah. Interesting how Lago is different though. So, I'm always surprised by how they do this. So, one giant bag here, probably one, two, three bags here, and the clear plate, well, clear window shell, and your odds and ends, as well as most importantly, the manual. So I will get those bags off their backing board and we will have a better look. Okay, with everything off the backing board. So here we have the manual for trike with the fairly complete front cover art. It does look very nice. I will say after now looking at all the cover art for these, they have done a very nice job with some of the cover art and given that these would have been imports from Takara Tommy Zoid model kits. That doesn't actually surprise me. And then we have poor Ruin, once again, uh, having a showdown with Truck. I wonder if Ruin ever gets an opportunity to win, to be honest. Cracking open the manual. So the first few pages just uh, going through different types of connection types and how to put everything together. 
on the left we have the battery housing and starting off the inner build of Troik. So there is a very large A bag as well as components from the mechanics bag that will be used. So just building a bit of Troik's inner frame. Some of the comic style art that appears throughout the booklet. I will say it is nice to be able to look at something in full colour. It's interesting to see how these little mechanisms work out. Uh, what else? I'm just continuing building through the frame. Which I don't know if this was an actual Kotobukiya kit, this frame would be an infinitely larger number of pieces. So we have the B-bag which has the legs and some side components of Troy. So putting those together, there's another comic art panel. And then coming to the end, then bag C is putting all the external armor on. It does look like it will be a bit of a vibrant yellow, but uh, with a bit of panel lining that will actually help mute some of that down. Good number of external armor parts, surprisingly. So what's this? Page 23 up to step 29, 30, 31 steps. Looks like to finish that, in fact. 32 steps to put Bastion on. And Trike actually got just a single page for the special attack, which isn't too bad, but that's still pretty cool. It's a very impressive special attack as well. So that's a manual for Trike in terms of what else was included. So there is the Included battle mat. I think I will probably end up laminating one or two, hopefully. Here's the bag. So here's a very large A bag, and definitely a good number of black pieces in there. You can see some of the yellow, and we have some silver esque pieces in there as well. Black would definitely be fantastic for panel lining, but black being black, although I, I really can't say black being black, I don't panel line it because I do panel line black. Why, I don't know. I think it's just an OCD habit. But uh, there we go, that's the A bag and some very large frame components. Moving on to the B bag, so I know this is the legs for trike as well as some side additions and bits of the tail so black and silver pieces in there definitely some nice opportunities for panel lining in that particular piece which is good the sea bag so mainly the yellow on the parts there's at least one silver piece in there um, Definitely options for panel lining and looking at this piece, I think that's in, inside, there's also internal detail in some of these pieces as well. It's a shame that these don't come on runners because it would be nice to actually have a better look without necessarily cracking open these bags, but um, I guess this is where Instagram will come in handy when the time comes. That was the sea bag. In terms of the mechanics, we have Half head. For some reason, just looking at that reminds me of the Dinobots from the Age of Extinction movie. Yes? Yes. Uh, the large battery housing, lots of those green pieces, and there are the pilot uh, Bastion in his. Um, yes, he's most interesting fellow right there. Pretty cool that they're also pre-painted pieces. Lastly, here is the parts that were, if I 
can align myself, uh, the parts that were in the plastic shells. So head, eye piece, I think that's probably the main central horn. And just one of those connector bits as well, just to give you an idea of what was included. So that wraps up the unboxing for Trike, as well as the final video for the Zoids Build Them to Battle unboxing series. Now, at some point in time, I will try and do proper reviews of these models, sets, kits. I love using these words interchangeably. In the future, it's definitely been something that I've been wanting to do. Well, I should be doing. Um, but time has not necessarily been a thing that's on my side, but that's okay. Hopefully this year will be better in that regard. But this has been a very fun journey for the unboxings. Definitely check out my Instagram from time to time. Um, because there will definitely be the updates there for when I start the build. Thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram accounts. Thanks again for your support to help grow this channel. It's greatly appreciated. Stay safe and take care and I will catch you all in the next video. See ya.